like y'all gonna see people tell their stories through this journey mm -hmm. but literally our commitment has has translated to literally affecting people's lives i've been thinking a lot about everything we've been dreaming will we ever make it out of this season where we seem like we're defeated and uh, we're taking beatings and uh, life keeps repeating so i get on my knees to pray and ask the lord why would you give us all these gifts and then hang them out to dry i would think that you would only want the best for us but everything is at its worst and we can't take no more Let's do this. it's time to start making excuses Welcome to a special edition of Deuce Season. We're on the set. Tell them what we at. Man, we're on the set of Brenton Christmas. Y'all know who Brenton is. That's me. Then we on set, right? Well, yeah. We just finished. Yeah, that's crazy. We had this idea. Probably, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. This is behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Behind the scenes. We first had this idea for Thanksgiving. Yep. And then it didn't go. Thanksgiving was too close. So we were like, you know what? Bump Thanksgiving, we're going to shoot it on Christmas. And we probably did that. When did we start talking about that? A little bit before Thanksgiving. Yeah, it was like it was like mid mid November. Mid November. And we was like, we could shoot it next week, and then Thanksgiving the next week. So we ain't gonna do that. Mm, nah. So, so let's go six weeks out. I set a date. And we did it today. We like, did it today. We, fin we just finished today, man. I don't even know how to feel. I, how, do, I, how do you feel? Cause you got your name on it. You, you feel like somebody. I do. I feel like this is a dream come true. Like this is my first film ever. This is a dream that I always had. This song that we always talked about. I, yeah. Like I always tell this story. I probably not told it on the previous podcast, but like I was like, man, I'm going all these acting classes. I can't get no auditions. And Daryl was like, don't worry. When it's time, we're gonna shoot our own film. I'm gonna make you the lead. You better kill it too. Yeah, I've been telling her all the last two weeks. Don't embarrass us. Don't embarrass us. We yeah. got all these people, and God, God really allowed a lot of people to be a part of this. Oh yeah. I think for me, that is the most overwhelming part. It is people. It's seeing how many people with lives, responsibilities, took the time away from their families, the time to meet on Zoom calls. That that and be and dedicated and like nobody we had we had little small stuff you know that with scheduling, but everybody was here when they were supposed to be here. Like and then you know they say most of the time with films you have to have backup because it's going it could be a time especially with people that's acting all the time they may have a gig before they come to us right after they say you have to always have backup but everybody made sure they was here and it was some people had filming had to film before they came to us but they made sure that they made it here so that just makes me feel like this was definitely meant to be because God put the right people in place for us. He did. It did. Everybody gelled so well. And it was just a spirit of gratitude. It was. Like, this is our first film. We just thankful, y'all. But everybody seemed more thankful than us. They did. Like, everybody <laughs> was like, thank you. This was the best. Like, this is you and your team first time ever filming. And they said it was better than most people that they worked with. And I was just like, oh, my God. Y'all was so confident. If y'all had any issues, I didn't know. Like y'all said, unless y'all was out <laughs> was playing and like not acting like something went wrong but y'all was so calm about everything like and y'all would look at each other sometimes and smile like ooh that just so fly like y'all would get excited with y'all self that's when I knew I was like yeah this film about to be awesome and yeah. just going the, the way we was going through takes like people actually had to be practicing yeah. there's no way you should go through takes that fast them people putting their time and dedication into this film like yeah. we didn't have that many takes yeah so thank you to the crew Thank Amazing. you to the production crew. Thank you to the cast, the writers, the assistants. The caterers. Everybody. We want to thank y'all. We actually, we're excited because we're going to share some interviews with the cast. Yeah. Get to know them a little bit. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be exciting. But before we do that, let's talk about our experience. How did you feel? Lead act? Is it actor or actress? What do you I'm gonna go, go by. by? It depends on like if I want to be treated like a queen, I would say actress. Mm -hmm. But if I'm in that mode, I just want to be studying. Like y'all step back, and I want to take control. Mm -hmm. Actor. But right now, I think I was an actor in this film. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but I will say, with this being my first time, like doing this, and then I, I care about everybody. Like I was so nervous. He could hear my heart beat. Y'all in the mic. That's we, just how nervous I was. We're gonna put a clip. Y'all not gonna believe it. This is the real heartbeat. I was boop, boop. I, of I, her I, own set. I was so nervous, y'all, when they said action. That thing clapped. Like, oh my god, this is real. Yeah, listen to this real quick. Yo, 
So nervous, man. He was like, "Is you nervous?" I was like, "Y'all need to take me to the emergency room." <laughs> like, I'm like, "Is that a fear? What in the world?" I was so nervous. I thought it was my heart for assassin. God, But as the time went on, it made me comfortable. Let me know it's okay. Just keep rolling. It's gonna get better. Then it was easy. From from that, my first scene, I was nervous, and after that, I was still nervous. But it was just like easier to get through. Like, yeah. So how would you compare it with comedy? I know we've been doing comedy for so long. This is like, how how would you say it differs, or I th- is it easier or harder? I think it's harder. I think acting is harder because when you're on stage, you you're talking about like most of the time, if you're being like authentic on stage, you're telling your truth, right? With acting, it's like you 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 giving something like on a piece of paper. It may not be something you wrote. It may not even be related to you, but you got to act that thing out exactly how it says. Like, you can't read. Like, I have to act out a scene that i probably never been in before, but I got to make these people think it's real, you know? So I think it's just, like, trying to memorize your line and then act it out because one thing you can't do in acting is think about your line. It going to show on camera. So, like, I have to remember my line, say it over and over my head, and then just get into mode. And those cameras rolling, it don't stop. It sees everything. If you got a piece of chicken in your teeth, I don't know if they got anything to do with it. The camera going to see it. So I think, to me, it's harder. Yeah. And I think, man, even from the production side, I think trying to incorporate so many personalities with a story, mm. right? Because when we when we doing comedy, it's, it's very one directional. Like, this is the stance we're going to have. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. We can improv. But this was like... Can we take all these personalities from all these people and tell the story that we want to tell? Mm. Um, and shout out to the cast. When I even when we were doing the Zoom calls, I was like shaking hearing their voices you were so happy. say the words that we came up with. Like it was unreal. It really was. Dang. Like I, I got a question for you. Like somebody that always coaching me to be better at my craft. Like when it comes to comedy, even acting, and you're not an actor. Like how did you feel seeing somebody that Basically, you mentor and coach to be at a higher level and to get better. Like, how did you feel watching me? I was so proud. For real? I I was. I was proud. Okay, okay, okay. I I think a lot of times people in general find themselves frustrated and investing in stuff that doesn't change. Mm -hmm. Right? So to see the investment, the time, the years we put in actually means something now. Mm -hmm. And then be able to impact everybody. That's true. Like, Y'all going to see people tell their stories through this journey, mm-hmm. but literally our commitment has has translated to literally affecting people's lives. Yeah. Like one of the cast members has just said, we're going to remember this day the rest of our lives. For the rest of our lives. That's crazy. Man, so like with you being like this, because this is part of your dream, like filming and doing photography and stuff like that. This is a huge, like every, I'm pretty sure every videographer dream is like to shoot a film, right? And you actually did it and then brought in guys that said that it was their dream too and it was their first time. Like, how did you feel the moment when that thing clapped and you like, oh my God, this is, this I'm, I'm finally doing this. Like, how did you feel in that moment, the first scene that you did? Like, Bro, it, it was it was unreal. I think how serious everyone took it. It was just hard to even like, like when you see people, you know, we got sound and we got different angles. We got actors. We got people doing, I didn't even know what the word slate meant two weeks oh, ago. That is true. You like, what is that? I didn't know that word. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? It's like, but seeing it all come together, you know, I'm I'm really big on research and like mm-hmm. figuring out how to do something the right way. Um so just seeing it come together, it's it's overwhelming. I'm excited. I think I'm more excited to to see the finished product and be able to look back. Um and then even progress even further. Yeah. I'm ready to look back and be like, that was amazing. But like it got better and better and better. So you didn't think that you was going to be nervous because even though you filmed it, like, you played a big role. First off, you played a major role in the writing. Let's let's talk about that. Not only did you write it, so now you're writing, you're behind the camera. Now you got to direct people. Now you got to tell them people how you really want it. That didn't get overwhelming to you? 
No, I I, I enjoy the process. I'm gonna be mm-hmm. honest. The most stressful part of this whole project was my little cameo. I think that was the <laughs> that- hardest. Like I have two lines. That freaked me out. You, just, you said, oh, yeah, I see why I'm behind the camera. It was like, I just felt I like I lost. about that part. I just felt like I didn't have no control over myself. Like, I, I didn't, pre- I don't know. And they were, I, like, they, were, they were like, do it over again. You're like, I want to get back behind this camera. Like, I need to see what's <laughs> going on. Like, I can tell it was, like, frustrating. <laughs> yeah, I've been, I think I've been behind the camera for so long now that it's like, it's an adjustment. Like, shout out to all the people who are brave enough. To get in front of the camera, like to put your personality out to the world, to be judged, because mm-hmm. people be judging. It's so judgmental. People be judging. I don't know if we gonna have this somewhere where there's gonna be comments, but people be judging. Yes, you gotta be strong. Like even with being a content creator, like every comment is not a good comment for me. People call me all types of stuff. Like you have to be strong when you're behind this camera and just be like you said. Don't have low. You could if you got low self esteem, you better get it together before you get it behind the camera. Cause boy. I don't know what they're going to say, but like you said, you just got to be strong. You got to be strong. Yeah. Um, but I think it all worked out for the good. I think we were telling an amazing story. Um, do you have any advice for anyone who may be going through what you're going through in this movie? Yeah, I, I, t- I tell people, just be who you are. Be yourself and surround you. Surround yourself around people who accept you for who you are because – if you you keep trying to be around people that don't accept you, you're gonna stress yourself out, and then you're gonna find yourself years later. It's like I wish I woulda did it. I wish I woulda just been able to be myself. Like, be yourself. Surround yourself around people that accept you, and like it's okay. Like tell, like let your family know. Like don't spend years. Like every time you come around your family, you putting on this front. Like you're gonna forever be unhappy. Like. I am the happiest now. It took me years to tell my family, but, like, when I told them, I'm the happiest that I have ever been. Like, if I leave tomorrow, I will say that, like, I live, like, my life and my purpose. Like, my purpose is why I do this acting and why I do this come to let people know that just like me, like, you can be yourself. There's so many people in the world that love my comedy, right, but probably don't accept their daughter, and they just like me. That's not fair because you get on that Internet every day and laugh at me. And you can do that. Your daughter can be the same person. They got talents. They that same person that you loved before they told you that they was gay. So they all allow people to be themselves and love and accept them. I'm not saying agree with what they do. I just want you to accept and love these people. That's it. Love is huge, you know. And that's the key. That's the key of what we do. We we want to share stories. We want to share experiences. Mm-hmm. We want to share scenarios that gets the conversation going. Yep. That allows people to be themselves and just to love freely. Love freely. It's not. It's just about who you are. You don't have to put on a show for nobody. Be who you are. It's gonna look at him. I I don't know how you feel about it, but I just know you love me. I don't care how you. You know what I'm saying? But you show me that you love me and everybody that was on the cast like. These people love, they came out to support a movie that in today's time can be very hard if you're not accepting of the community like that. These people came out and supported me for who I was. You know what I'm saying? I think that's that's just big. That's why you got to surround yourself with people who accept you for you. Definitely. No matter if, I'm not even just talking about my sexuality. I'm talking about anything. Like, surround yourself with those people, so. Yeah, so you guys, I hope you guys enjoy what's coming. Mm-hmm. We got a lot of exciting conversations. We got a series of interviews with the mm-hmm. cast, with the film crew. Yeah. So stay tuned, and we'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out. I've been thinking a lot about everything we've been dreaming. Will we ever make it out of this season? Where we seem like we're defeated and uh, we taking beatings and uh, life keeps repeating. So I get on my knees to pray and ask the Lord why. Would you give us all these gifts and then hang them out to dry? I would think that you would only want the best for us. But everything is at its worst and we...